In this video, you will learn how to assemble a craftline base cabinet. The following hardware is required to completely assemble your craftline cabinet. To get started, you will need the back panel, side panel, two metal cleats, and eight half inch flat head screws. Lay the back panel on a flat surface. Then take the first side panel and align the panels together so that the metal cleat can be drilled in. Take your first metal cleat and place over the pre-drilled holes and take your four half inch flathead screws and drill the screws to connect the first side panel to the back panel. For the next step, you will need the already assembled back and side panels, eight half inch flathead screws, and two metal cleats. To attach the bottom panel, slide the panel into the grooves and attach with the metal cleats and drill in with the half inch flathead screws. For this next step, we will be attaching the final side panel. Attaching the last side panel will be the same as the last two steps. Simply place the side panel in the grooves and attach with the metal cleats and remaining flathead screws. For the next step, we will be attaching the toe kick panel to the base of our cabinet. To attach the toe kick panel to both side panels, use the two metal cleats and half inch flat hat screws to attach the panels together. For this next step, we will be attaching the face frame to the side panels using the four metal cleats and half inch flathead screws. Lay the cabinet on its back and simply place the face frame on the top of the two sides into the grooves. Once the face frame is put in place, you will be able to attach the metal cleats with the flathead screws. Now we'll be moving on to assembling the drawer box. You will need the drawer back, sides, bottom, and head, as well as wood glue. To assemble the drawer, you will be attaching both the sides, bottom, and back panels at the connecting finger joints. Once the sides, back, and bottom panels are assembled, attach the head of the cabinet drawer to the top. Once the drawer is completely assembled, we will be attaching box clips to the underneath of the drawer. Flip the drawer on the opposite side so that you are on the underneath of the drawer. There you will be able to place the box clips in the upper right and left hand corner. For this next step, we will be installing the mount glides. You will need the two side mount glides, two mount wall brackets, and half inch flat head screws. With the cabinet sitting upright, first place the wall brackets into the pre-drilled holes. Then you will be able to drill in the screws into the appropriate slots. Repeat this step until both wall brackets are attached.
After the two wall brackets are secured, you will then be able to slide the side mount guides into place. Drill the remaining screws to attach the glide mounts to the face frame. After the glides are attached, you will now be able to flip the drawer box upright and slide the drawer in. When you insert the drawer in here or click, you will now know that the drawer is successfully inserted. The final step will be attaching the door to the cabinet face frame. You will need the cabinet door, the two door hinges, the 5 8 inch flathead screws, and the 3 quarter inch round head screws. Lay the cabinet door on a flat surface and align the head of the hinge with the pre-drilled holes. Drill the flathead screws in the appropriate slots. Repeat step for the second hinge. After you've installed the flatheaded screws, you will now be able to attach the rest of the hinge to the base of the cabinet using the round-headed screws. You will now have a fully assembled Craftline base cabinet. Thank you for watching our video. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date on new videos we have to come. Also, please visit our website, buymbs.com, to check out all the different products we have to offer.